Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read Reading Explorer Unit 8A An Incredible Journey A. The Polo Marcos, his father, Nicolo, and his uncle, Mafio, have been traveling for three and a half years when they finally achieved the objective. A long-awaited meeting with the powerful Mongol leader, Kublai Khan. The historic event took place in 1275 at the Khan's luxurious summer capital in Shangdu, in what is now northern China. Kublai Khan was surprisingly informal as he greeted his tired guest. Welcome, gentlemen. Please stand up. How, how have you been? How was the trip? B. Marco Polo's trip had in fact started more than 9,000 kilometers away in Venice when he was just a teenager. His father and uncle already knew Kublai Khan from a previous visit nine years earlier when they had spent a short time in Shangdu. On this second trip, the Polos stayed for 17 years before they returned home. They made, them, they made themselves useful to the Khan and undertook various missions and tasks for him. It is likely that the Khan considered it an honor that these Europeans, who were rare in China, had made this extremely difficult journey and he took the opportunity to make good use of their skills and knowledge. See, while he was in the service of Kublai Khan, the most powerful man in people and in lands and in treasure that ever was in the world, Marco Polo was able to learn and experience many things that were new to Europeans. In his travel journal, he wrote that Kublai Khan's palace was the greatest he had ever seen. He admired the Khan's recently completed new capital, Daidu, whose streets were so straight and so broad. Uh, the city was located in what is now the center of Beijing, and Kublai Khan's city planning can still be perceived in the straight, broad streets of China's modern capital. D. We learn from Marco Polo that in the administration of his empire, Kublai Khan made use of a fast and simple message system. Horse riders spaced every 40 kilometers, allowed messages to cover 500 kilometers a day. As soon as one horse had run 40 kilometers, the next horse would run the next 40 kilometers, and so on. Marco also learned the secret of asbestos, asbestos, asbestos cloth, which is made from mineral and doesn't catch fire. Paper money also took him by surprise, since it was not yet used in the West at the time. Homes were heated with black stones, which burned like logs, though the stones were cold unknown in most of Europe, and was so plentiful that many people had a hot bath three times a week. E. Although the Khan did not want his visitors to leave, the Polos finally received the permission to return home in 1292. Marco continued his observations while on the ocean voyage by way of Sumatra and India. After he returned home, Marco completed a book about his trip, full of details about his amazing cultural experiences. It was probably the single greatest contribution to geographical knowledge ever made to the West about the East.
the end.